Sometimes in our lives we all have pain, we all have sorrows. Hi there, welcome to the next in our YMM series of videos and masterclasses on musicianship skills. So we've already looked at how we can use a melody for improvising and last time we looked at how we can use our ears to work out the harmony in a song. So today we're going to look at something called transcription. Now what this means is writing down what we can hear. So if I was having a conversation with a friend and someone was in the corner typing down everything we said or writing it down on a piece of paper, they would be transcribing our conversation. And in the same way, in music, when we write down the music that we can hear, that's called transcription. So when we have a song, we have the harmony that we talked about last week, and then we have the melody which is made up of pitch, so how high and low the notes are, and rhythm, the timing of those notes. Today, we're gonna look at the rhythm. So how can we hear what rhythms are happening in a song? This is really useful for when we're making arrangements or if we're doing oral skills in an exam. Plus, the better we can hear what a rhythm is, the better we can play rhythms because we're so much more aware of how that timing works. So we already know that music can come in different time signatures, don't we? We can have music in 2-4, 3-4, 4-4, or, or compound time signatures like 6-8, 9-8, 12-8, or, or even complex time signatures five, four, seven, eight, eleven, eight. Whew. And these are all ways to divide the time. It's like a pie, isn't it? I love pie. We can have music in two, four, three, four, four, four. And those are all ways we can cut our pie. But we can cut each slice, each beat, even further. We could cut it in half and get two quavers or into thirds and get triplets or we could cut it into four smaller slices and semi quavers and this is a trick called subdivision and it is really really handy when we're working out how to hear rhythms so when we subdivide we can start small so if our piece is in 4-4, four, four, that's our pie. And so we divide each bar into four slices. If the music uses rhythms smaller than a crotchet, so if it uses quavers or semi-quavers, we're going to have to divide those slices even further. So if you start small, we can divide our slice in half into quavers. So instead of one, two, three, four, we have one and two and three and four and. We have those ands in between. We can divide that, those slices even further though, can't we? Even further, if we divide into four, we get semi-quavers. And this is where it can be tricky to count. So I like to tap each of my fingers with my thumb to help me count those semi-quavers. And you can use words too. Some people use syllables like tadikada. Or you could use words like alligator, chicken tikka. Whatever works best for you. So let's take an example. Say I wanted to work out the rhythm of Lean On Me by Bill Withers. Sometimes in our lives we all have pain, we all have sorrows. So we're not going to look at the pitches 
of the melody just for now, just the rhythm. So let's speak it. Some times in our lives, we all have pain. We all have sorrow. So that click is our beat, isn't it? Can you hear that? One, two, three, four. So we've got our beat, it's in 4-4. Four, four. So let's now count those beats and see how many of those notes land on the beats. Some times in our lives we all have pain. Which notes landed on the beats? Some, that first note did, didn't it? So the very first note, how many beats does it last? Some times. It's exactly two beats, isn't it? Some times. Times lands on the third beat. So we've got a minim. And then what happens next? Times in our lives. Times in our lives. We've got four notes. Da, 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 da but only two beats. So we're going to have to subdivide. Let's only subdivide into two for now and then we'll see if we need to go further. So we're cutting our pie into four slices because it's in four four and then we're taking a slice and we're cutting it in half again. So if we did that one and two and three and four and one Four times in our lives. They all landed on those quaver beats, didn't they? Times in our lives. So we've got a minim and then four quavers. Some times in our lives. And we could carry on like this throughout the whole song until we've written down the whole rhythm. So if you'd like to practice this skill, come along to the workshop, sign up in the link below. It's going to be really great. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to all of YMM's videos here on YouTube.